Hello and welcome. Once again, I'm updating my dashboard morning cup. It's the 25th today. Woohoo! All right. Hello. Welcome to the morning cup stream here at 5J Gaming. Don't have my iPad on me, that's alright, I'll use my phone. This morning we're going to play another fun little Turtles Brawler. This one being for uh, the Game Boy Advance. And it was based off that TMNT movie that came out. So I don't know anything about that movie, whether it's any good or not. But I always heard that this game was decent, so I picked it up. Because I like a good uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, so... Let's uh, let's give it a try here. I've already played this game before and I enjoyed it. So, spoilers for a review there. <laughs> Again, let's figure out our. Ooh, the sound is a little loud, isn't it? Whoa, apparently I'm in the middle of something here. Let's reset that. Well, that's interesting. That warning is, looks a lot like the ones that were on the DS. Odd, odd. Let's do this. Play the game, baby. Sure, this one's earlier on. This has got silly little cutscenes from the movie, it looks like. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh, playing as Raf right off of it, the. Raf, rather. Raf. So you get to bust pieces of the environment, use it as a weapon, gotta love that. Bite. Ooh, wow. Really rocked that guy. Bam! <sighs> Knocking these guys out cold. You can break Sturf. So there's different combos there. If I'm holding down when I attack, I kick. If I hold up, I do some sort of upcut thing. There we are. Classic, right? From Maximum Carnage. Kill a dog, why not? Oof. Now there's an upgrade type system in this game, too. <laughs> Throw the people. You can do things like destroy little boxes. Sometimes they have money in them to get other upgrades. Turn around. There we are. I want to do a real combo on these guys. Not just the one kick business. This is going to hurt. This mailbox It's pretty heavy. Ow. This guy needs to stop throwing rocks. You know, that could hurt. Oh. Try to do a flying kick and be all cool like, but. Only succeeded in getting myself hurt. Oh, let's pick up that rock and get some revenge. Puppy dogs. Gotcha, puppy dog. Gotta love when you can beat up a good puppy dog, right? Everybody hates dogs. I'm just kidding. Dogs are the best. See, my shoulder buttons don't appear to do anything. Ooh! I can hit the rock back at him. Ah, that makes things interesting. I don't know if I knew that before. Do 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 Bassy. It's a bassy track here. Game Boy Advance had some nice bass to their uh, sound system. Oh boy, looks like we got our first boss fight here. 
Yes. Well, semi-boss. Maybe there's, these are just big enemies. So far, this bat seems to be doing a good job of taking care of them. Well, that cannot be good for my health. I'm gonna go ahead and say, don't do that. Pro tip, guys: don't play in train tracks when there's a train coming. Maybe at all. Maybe just be safe. <laughs> Ah, oh, I missed the bat. Shucks. Oh, wow, that's a very bouncy box. Gotta get out. Did I live? Yeah, we lived. Yeah, baby. Oh, that time we did not. 12 lives though, holy cow. These uh, turtles have more lives than cats, man. Now you know, turtles. Oh, there we got that guy. So there's cool little combos you can do. Uh, I know there's upgrades that happen. I think that makes the combos better, gives you different moves to do and stuff. So like I said, the shoulder buttons don't do anything right now. I believe that they do once you start unlocking those abilities. Oh, this guy is deadly throwing rocks. We don't need those. Those cheap tricks. Get out, get out. That was the sign for train coming. Where was the train? Yeah, see, if you hit him up in the air a little bit, then you get a little combo going, except for when there's a guy behind you. Ooh, he's got a pipe. So as we have two viewers in here, that's awesome. One of them of my view bot, less awesome. Oh, okay. I just want to know what's in there. Just let me know what's in Oh, garbage. In the trash can? That doesn't make sense. Beat up the puppies, of course. Who doesn't love beating up puppies? Psh. The game looks pretty good. Uh, game Boy Advance had some really awesome uh, graphics on, on 2D games. They tried some things in 3D, and sometimes it worked out alright. Never looked amazing or anything, but... Uh, the Spyro games I always felt was a, a always a valiant effort. There we go. That was way too hard. No innuendo, guys. None. Yeah, what's up, bro? Ugh. No, I mean to be doing the uppercut thing. He keeps going to the right, and I only mean to be pushing up. Some controllers, man. Some controllers. There we are. I wonder if the upgrades happen now or at the end of the level. Probably the end of the level. Let's pick up this meter pole. Just destroying fools. Nope, turn around, pal. Enemies are that way. <laughs> Stop that. Pick it up and kill him like a man. Yep. Back to puppy beaten. Oh. Turn your back for one second and you get the motorcycle guy. Those garbage cans must be heavy. In my experience, those ones were never very heavy, so... Whatever. Oh. Flying kicks don't work on this guy, the motorcycle dude, but apparently just a normal hit does. Is that... Okay, here we go. Here's the real boss. Is that a rocket launcher? Yikes. Seems like overkill, bro. Apparently 
Unfortunately, we need these 12 lives. We're getting our butt handed to us a little bit. <laughs> Look at his fancy moves. I'm supposed to kill this guy. He only lets me hit him one time before he runs away. Jerk. Wow, that guy can really jump, am I right? Of course I am. There we are. He wasn't so tough after all. See, these animations are nice. Much more expressive than even the 16-bit days. So, Game Boy Advance games were really awesome. I loved them. Um, they had some sweet Mega Man games in there. Mega Man Zero. Awesome games. Oh, okay, so I thought this was another level. We're here training with Splinter now. Uh, where's the actual training area? Hun's Bazooka. Okay. But give me the new moves. I want the new moves. All the moves. Oh, there's that. Hmm. Maybe we don't get new moves. But what's this? Ah. Medicine. Martial art supplies. It sounds good. What does it do? Skill scroll. Learn how to uh, wall jump. Absolutely. The stronger big blade. A hammer. Okay. Already got that skill scroll here. Whoa, we're moving right into some enemy territory, I guess. Wonder why. I just wanted to look for more skills. Retreat! Oh, no, we've been in there. Wall jump. Oh, there was one thing. You seem to do a weird slide in the air. Replenish gives a small amount of experience points. Cool. Those experience points might have something to do with it. Build your co-op meter faster to call your brother into combat. That's cool. Increases ability to perform long longer combo attacks. Now we're talking here. Defense goes up. Power goes up. Stamina goes up. All the stuff. All the stuff. And a ninja lady. Sure, 60 seconds. That sounds good because that's about all the time that we have right now. So far, this seems super easy. Oh, yeah! Woohoo, we get money. Look at us. So now we can go by there, uh, go back down here and buy some stuff. Let's see what happens if we buy experience points. What does that do for us? So was it spiritual incense? Doesn't seem to do much. Hmm. Well, I can't remember how it all works because we only have 15 minutes to figure everything out. Anyway, this is a fun little brawler. Maybe I should use that later file anyway so you could see some more complex abilities and combos. But uh, as you can see, the animations look really nice. Um, it's pretty simple combat, but it's fun. There's different difficulties. Um, yeah, and it's portable, so if you have a Game Boy Advance or a Game Boy Micro, super awesome system. Works perfectly on the go. Um, fun little time waster, so pretty quick to zip through levels and all that kind of stuff. So, Alright guys, thank you for joining us this morning, and uh, tonight we have Wife Wednesday. My wife will be playing a game, and I'll just simply be coaching her. It'll be a good time. It always is hilarious. And then um, 
Not in Nintendo with Splatoon. So, alright guys, we'll see you later tonight.